So I just wanted to give you a list of prescription medications that can possibly interfere with the drug test so you know them for your own reference because it can be shocking to people to test positive on a drug test when they know darn well they don't take any illegal drugs. However, they don't take into account that some of the drugs they take for prescription could be causing the positive. If you take Adderall, Dexedrin, or possibly Ritalin for ADHD or narcolepsy, those can cause a false positive on an amphetamine or methamphetamine test. The test has no way of distinguishing whether or not you've taken an illegal drug or a legal prescription. However, your doctor's word and his or her signature on the prescription slip and name on the prescription label are what makes a differentiation. If you've had recent injury or surgery and are taking Vicodin, Norco, Darvacet, Dilaudid, Duragesic, Morphine, any sort of high-grade prescription painkiller is an opiate. And that means you're going to test positive on an opiates test, most possibly. Generally, that's testing for heroin or other illegal opiates, but a legal opiate will trigger a positive result on that as well. And again, the test can't tell the difference between a legal drug or an illegal drug. So it's important to know what you're taking into your body. Also, more often than not, it has been both proved and disproved, but is definitely, and I'm telling you right now, a matter of fact, poppy seeds can cause a false positive on an opium test. Poppy seeds come from a poppy flower, which is what produces natural opium. Therefore, there is a small amount of opiate in poppy seeds. This is more true in people who eat a lot of poppy seeds, people who are big-time poppy seed fans. It is entirely possible for somebody to produce a false positive on a drug test or opiates because of their amount of intake of poppy seeds. So it's a consideration to take into mind when using a home drug test.